And let's bring ourselves onto our mat. Good, feet nice and wide apart. I have shoes on today. You don't have to wear shoes. It's totally practitioner's choice. We're gonna take the arms, circle them up and back. Inhale. And then on the exhale, support the back body. Open up the chest. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up and back. Exhale, little hip thrust forward. Open up the flexors one more time. Inhale to lift up, 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 up with the arms. And exhale, open up the hips. Doesn't have to be huge. Good. Shake it all off. Anything that's feeling like it ain't serving you today, just let it go. And then we're going to hit play in just a moment. So everybody... Are we ready? Give me a thumbs up. Hitting play in four, three, two, one, hit it. Come back to your mat. We're gonna start with a squat and hinge because that's the first thing on the gamut with our lower body. So it's squat, rise, hands on hips, hinge and rise. Squat, lift, hips, hinge and rise. Good, squat. Lift, nice Rachel, hip hinge and rise. Two more, squat, rise, hip hinge. Last one here, it's drop down low, rise up high, hinge at the waist and rise. Good, step your feet together, take the right leg back, lift it up tall. It's a pulse lift, pulse. Just feel the back body work. Notice if you're not drawing your abs in for three, two, one, switch the legs. It's open it back. So from the front, I look like this, just single leg balance for four, three, two, one. Bring the feet a little wider apart, turn the toes out. Sumo, side reach, sumo, side reach, rise, heel, pop. Drop down, side reach, center, side reach, rise, heel, pop. Two more. Side reach, we're doing some standing core today. So I wanna get you warm there. Last one, open, center, open, rise. Good, then walk it back to the back of your mat. Feet about hip width apart, walk it out to plank position. Hold plank here, shoulder tap, right, left, right, left. Then plant the hands. Right foot steps forward, right arm reaches up, ring out the right wrist. Good, place it back on the mat, step and switch. Left leg forward, left arm reaches up. Good, little shoulder, little wrist. Then come back to plank, shift back to downward dog. Walk the hands back to the toes, roll yourself up tall. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold forward. Walk it out to plank pose. Left arm, right shoulder, left, right, left, left leg forward, left arm reaches up, ring out the left wrist, come back through center, switch the side, open up, nice, good, place the hands, little mountain climbers here, right knee, left knee, so you're stacking your shoulders for four, three, two, one, knees down, roll the shoulders back, push the ground away from you, lift the chest and round. Lift the chest and round. Two more, lift the chest and round. Last one, lift the chest and round. You can stay in a kneeling position, bring the arms overhead. Drop the elbows back, this back, push, push. So if doing anything overhead today is not serving you, you can always modify and push the arms back and a triceps kick back. Otherwise, it's an overhead triceps extension. Good, four more. You've got four, three, two, one. Stay here, sit back on the heels, reach the arms up, draw the elbows back and return. Lift, draw, rise, return. Lift, draw, rise. Lift, draw, rise. Four more, it's four, draw and rise. Three, draw and rise. Two, draw and rise. One, draw and rise. Good. Stand yourself up. If you need a sip of water, grab it. Otherwise, we're going to get started with the first movement. You need a single dumbbell to start. So I'm going to hold the dumbbell like a goblet. My feet are about hips distance apart. You're going to squat down, rise up, 
Release the load and hinge at the waist. Rise back up, goblet squat, drop down, hinge at the waist, okay? So nice, heavy dumbbell if you got it. Timer starts in four, three, two, and go. One minute, drop, squeeze, hinge, rise. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Yes, drop into that seat. So I'm wearing the right pants for this day. You can see my hinge and you can see in my squat, I'm not letting the knees surpass the toes. Weight stays in the heels. Squeeze, wiggle the toes around. Notice if you're putting weight into the toes. See if you're gonna kind of aim back. Nice, Julie. Now team, you've got about 20 more seconds to go here. Next effort, we're gonna grab that second heavier dumbbell. Yes, so feet are planted right now. Next up, we've got a little single leg hinge with load in eight, six. Now no break, two and one. Grab your second dumbbell here, balance on your right foot. Good, from here, single leg deadlift, soften the knee and squeeze. Single leg and rise. There's a soft bend in that right knee. I'm not locking it out. Flex the back leg. So I'm flexing through the heel of that foot. Now the good news is we're doing a 30-30 split on this one, so you're almost there. Last four, three, two, switch the legs. Left leg balance, it's a hinge. And exhale, lift. Roll those shoulders back, exalt the chest forward. Nice, exhale, rise. Good, flex that right foot. Toes point down, internally rotate the hip. Back stays flat. You got 15 more seconds. Inhale. Woo. Lost my balance there. Good. Finishing strong in five, four, three, two. Set your dumbbells on the floor. Come to all fours position. Good. Right foot forward, lift the hips, lower and kick. Repeat on the left. Left foot forward. Lift the hips, lower and kick from the side. Right foot comes forward, hips rise, hips lower and kick that right leg back. Left leg forward, hips lift, hips lower and kick. So you're alternating these sides. If you're familiar with yoga, it's a little take on pyramid, lifting the hips and pressing that heel back. Good. Team, you've got about 15 more seconds. The reason we need these dumbbells is next up, we have a butterfly bridge on the floor. So right now you're focused on finishing strong with this little combo. Five, this looks good, Sarah. Four, three, two, grab your, both of your dumbbells, place them on the hips, feet together, knees separated, head long. It's a lift and lower, loaded bridge. So if I don't have weights, could I put something else across my hips? Sure, a nice bag of kitty litter, a bag of soil. <sighs> Squeeze your seat. So it's a nice little hip opener, little groin stretch here from the front. Soles of the feet are touching. The outer edges of my feet are on the floor. Good, exhale, lift and lower. You got about 20 more seconds. Now remember, no break. You're gonna come back to exercise one. It's the squat hinge load on load in eight, seven, six, five. Last bridge, all the way up, all the way down. Set the weights down for a moment. Rock and roll your way up and rise to stand. One weight down, other weight in hand. Goblet, feet about shoulder width apart. Squat, lift. Hinge, rise, squat, lift, hinge. On the hinge, if your knuckles don't touch the floor, is that okay? Yes, I could bend my knees. I could keep it a little less drastic, right? Rise up, bring it right in front of the chest. Drop into that goblet squat. Yes, nice Keiko. You guys look so good today. Happy Friday the 13th. Good, 
What's next? We have our single leg hinge. Now I'm gonna add something into this one, guys. So focus on good form. We're gonna balance on the left, moving the right first in three, in two, balance left. It's a single leg hinge. Tap the foot, lift and rise. I'll show it to you from the side. Single leg hinge, tap the foot, rise, lift. Single leg hinge, tap it to the floor, lift it up and rise. Good, do it again. Single leg hinge, tap and lift. Woo! Sheena, I thought of you when I was doing my programming. I was like, she's gonna like this one. Five, four, three, two. Switch your legs, please, team. We're on the right, left leg moving. Lift it up, tap it, lift it again, and rise it up. Mandy, I feel like I'm not getting as much range of motion on the second side. That's okay. It's okay if you're not completely balanced, do your best, right? We're all somewhere. Everything, everything is uh, tough because of just everything going on. So give yourself that extra latitude today. You've got six, five, four, three, two. Set the weights down on the floor, bend your knees, come down to all fours. Let's move a little quicker here. Right foot, hips, lower, back kick switch. Left foot, hips, lower, back kick and switch. Shh. Hands can stay on the floor. Good. Push that heel to the back. I'll show this to you from the back. Rise, hips up, hips down, kick, rinse, repeat. If you have any sensitivity in the knees, a little fold of the mat or a little blanket underneath the knees might be a, just what the doctor ordered. 20 more seconds. Hips are up. Feel that stretch through the hamstring and then push through the heel of that foot. Rise and hip back. Almost there, team. Next up, butterfly bridge. Five, four, three, two, set it down. Soles of the feet to me, grab both of the dumbbells. Head relaxed, feet together, hips on. Let's go, lift and lower, push to the sky with the groin. Sounds like a Friday the 13th to me. So legs are in this diamond shape. If that's a little uncomfortable for you, if this is a little intense, you can always keep your feet flat on the floor with a wide-legged thrust. You got 25 more seconds. Now remember, we have three rounds of each of these four actions. So we've got one more round to go. If you need a sip of water, you can take it, but if you can hold out for four more minutes, try to hold out. We'll do that last round. You've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, remove the weights, rise to stand. You just need one. So you're gonna drop the other one off, back to this uh, squat and hinge. Hinge, rise, hinge, or squat, rise, and hinge. Word salad. So if you want, you can make this harder by stepping your feet closer together. Just careful that you're not letting your legs abduct, AKA you're not letting your toes turn out, right? So you wanna keep your feet flat. Drop in, squeeze, hinge and squeeze. And when I say squeeze, I'm talking about these right here, your butt cheeks, right? Squat, lift, last 20 seconds on the squat and hinge today. How low can you get in the squat? Nice, Dee Dee. So strong, Rachel Pierce. Good, seven, get it, Javi. Six, five, four, three, two, grab your second dumbbell, either leg to balance. I'm gonna start with my right leg. Here we go. Hinge, tap, lift, and rise. Hinge, tap, lift, and rise from the side. Hinge, tap, lift, and rise. Maybe you land your toe. Hinge, tap, lift, and rise. Nine more seconds on this side. Notice what's going on in the back. Pull the abs in. Four, three, two, switch. Left leg balances for me. I decided to start with my right because my right is a struggle bus. Good, back is flat. Nice, Amanda. 
Good on ya. Woo. Exhale, lift. Let's see, I've got UK in the house, Jamaica in the house, New York in the house, Chicago in the house, LA in the house. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, drop off the dumbbells on the floor. Back to all fours. Right foot, hips up, hips down, kick it, switch. Left foot, hips up, hips down, kick and switch. Right foot, hips up, hips down. I'm doing a little heel curl. So as I lift up off of the foot, maybe I flex my toe and flex my foot back. Again, a little side profile thing. Lift and push and rinse and repeat on the right side. Nice little way to floss those hips. And then we're finishing with bridging in eight, seven, six, five, last one, four, three, two, finish it out. Boom, grab your dumbbells, soles of the feet meet, one, one bridge. Here we go, lift and lower. Lift, exhale, lift. Yeah, oh my God, dose. Yeah, so soles of the feet together, knees wide. Feel your lower back touch the mat, lift up, squeeze your cheeks together. Keep the back of the head nice and long. Adjust as needed, lick your lips, swallow. Are you breathing? Team, you got 27 seconds, lift it up. I want you to keep going because I'm going to demonstrate for you the first arm activity. I want to get you get, get you ready. So in a moment, we're going to come back to the floor with our light dumbbells. Okay, I'm grabbing my fives for this. You're done in four, three, two. Drop off your twelves off to the side. Grab your light weights or your mediums. Knees into chest, head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. Extend your legs long, arms open and close. It's a fly. Shh. My head is lifted. Mandy, this is too much on my neck. Lower the head, focus on the arm work, right? So straight out to the side. So if, if I were floor facing, my arms open and close. Bring it open and close right along the chest line. So if you notice yourself way up by your chin, I want you to drop it down like empire waist. Yes, Rachel, yes, Dee Dee. Nice, Amy. Naomi, you're on fire, of course, always. She's got perfect form because she teaches too. Anya teaches too. Got a lot of teachers in here, I'm happy. Seven, six, five, almost there. Give me two more. One more time, rise it up. Good, from this position, next thing you've got going on, you just need one of your single heavy dumbbells. Straddle your weight with your hands. You're gonna row and press to the sky and switch. Row and press and switch. So you've got a narrow grip row right to the shoulder and twist to the sky. Mandy, that weight's too heavy. Do your lighter dumbbell. Right? Mandy, it's too much on my back. Knees come down. Right? So there's always an option here. Mandy, my hands, it's too much on my hands. Then be in this kneeling position, twist here. And it's okay if you don't get the deepest twist ever. You're getting the arm work. So there's lots of options for the upper body and there's lots of options for how you sit in the lower body to support. Finishing strong in four, Three, two, and rise. You want your light weights for this one. Find a chair pose with me. Front raise, and then you're gonna give me a wide fly. All right, so back flat raise, turn the palms fly out. Palms down, palms in. Palms down, and palms in. We're post exhausting the legs. Palms down, can you get those arms out as far as your chest? Can you squeeze the legs together? Nice hobby, yes, Lauren. Get it, Sarah, 20 seconds. 
Requires a lot of focus, a lot of attention here. Now we've got one more arm thing. I'm gonna do mine with my single heavy dumbbell. In four, three, two, drop off your lights. Grab one single heavy. Okay, you're gonna bring it behind the head for a chop right here, overhead. Feet wide apart, chop across, rise, chop, rise. So I bend my elbows back, chop, return, chop, return. Now this one's sneaky because it's not just upper body. I feel core and uh, I feel legs. So again, if it's too much to have it overhead, good shade, I'm glad you like a song. Then you can always go back to your lighter dumbbells. Give me that triceps kickback, chop right, chop left. Triceps kickback, bring them together, chop right, chop left. So that can make it a little easier and you're still doing a similar movement. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and if you're ready for it, come on down to the floor. I'm grabbing my heavier set. All right, on your back, chest fly right here, open out, close it in. So I know for me, 12 pounds is, is a lot. If it's not a lot for you, I want you to go slower. Think about it being four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one. Why? Because the time under tension is going to give you more work. And I love it. Amanda's got her feet on the floor. That's a great way to protect your back team. So if your back is starting to feel weird, feet down, knees bent. Yes, Shayna. 15 more seconds, y'all. Do it for Friday. Do it for yourself. Do it for your mental health. Woo! So I have my legs a little higher so my lower back stays on the floor. No shame in that game. Four, three, two, rock and roll up. You need one dumbbell, straddle it with your hands, feet wide apart. It's a row T press, return, switch. Row T press, return, switch. Now, if you wanna make this a little more dynamic in the legs, Option here, I row, I turn to the inner outer edge of both of my feet and return over to the other side. Now, what else could I add in? Could I add in a push up? Sure, right? It's a great post exhaustion for those flies. We're getting a multi joint chest group. Yes. Nice, Lauren. 10 seconds to go on this. So there's tons of ways to do this, right? Knees down and I twist here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the weights there on the floor if you want. Grab the light dumbbells, chair pose with me here. Overhead fly, reverse fly. Overhead fly and chair, reverse. I don't know about you, but my arms are starting to really talk to me. They're like, is it time for barbecue? Just kidding. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Good, added bonus. Can you sit a little lower in the chair? Open, return, reach, return. On the reach, my friend, if you're elevating your shoulders like this, don't go up as high. No shame in the shorter range of motion, right? So maybe I just come to here, right? I'm still getting the same joint action, front raise, I'm just not getting as much of the muscle, which is fine. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab a single dumbbell, comes behind the head, feet wide. It's a chop and twist, chop and twist. Overhead and twist. My feet are wide apart, my toes are slightly turned out. Overhead triceps extension to a cross body chop. Careful that when you're extending your elbow, you're not whipping it open, meaning you're not locking the elbow joint. Very important. Nice, Julie. That looks awesome. Good, Keiko. Ah. Oh, delicious coffee. 
15 more seconds. Um, you guys, if you're not following Nestor, please start. He has the best stories. I don't want to spoil it, but there's a good one about some cream from his coffee today. Last three, two, one, final round. Here we go. Onto the floor, chest flies, open and close. Mandy, I want more to do. All right, baby. Lower the legs, lift the legs. Lower the legs, lift the legs. Right, so that's gonna put more onus on the abdominals. If you're looking for abs, don't worry. One, we're totally gonna get to it. Four exercises dedicated to the axial skeleton. But two, squeeze the inner thighs together. The legs move in one unison effort so they don't separate. 10 seconds left. <sighs> Exhale center. Beautiful DD. Seven, six, five, four. Dig out. Give me one more. Two, one. Rock and roll it up. Grab one weight. Maybe you go back to your lighter dumbbell. Maybe you don't. All right, feet wide apart. Twist and press. Remember the option here, a push-up. Why would I offer it in the third round? Because this is it, my friend. You're not doing it again. This is it. This is the final round of ab, um, arms. And then we move into abs. Nice, Sarah. Good, Keiko. I love the strength, Rachel. Yes, Naomi. Awesome, Javi. Team, what can you accomplish in the last 20 seconds time here? Boom, sound effects are optional. <sighs> Drive that arm up, <sighs> push and return. Last eight, seven, six, get it Amy. Four, three, love those pants too. Two and one, awesome job. Okay, stand up, grab your seat, your light weights, chair pose, overhead reach, fly. I'm looking down the bridge of my nose so that the back of my neck is long, right? I'm not lifting here. I'm actually looking down at my toes. And then opening out, you're squeezing the middle of your back. So if you feel yourself doing this when you're opening up your arms, I want you to bring them down closer to the navel then. Yep. You got 20 seconds. So much back body today. So much, so much work, I know. But listen, you're gonna be so happy when it's over. You're gonna feel like a beast. Good stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, last effort in the arms. Oh, tricep chops. Feet wide, here we go. Return, chop it, return it. Good. So we're already getting into the core work, right? Good news is with the core work, we won't need any dumbbells. So I'm gonna go ahead and strike that so I don't hurt myself. Keep going, you guys, you have 20 seconds to go. With this next effort, we've got some standing twists. I want you to keep going with this. On the standing twist, fist to fist, it's a twist, pretty quick. All right, so that's the first effort. Feet together, or feet wide, fists together, okay? Four, three, two, one. Drop off the weights, feet wide, toes turned out, Sumo hold, it's a twist, switch. If you're like me and you get a little bit dizzy when you look to the right and left, then I want you to look straight forward and focus on the twist, okay? Straight forward, focus on the twist, it's left, right. Get lower, optional, heel pop, hold. Balance and core. This is the easy one out of the four efforts. We're about to do a 30-30 split balance effort. Last 20 seconds, fist to fist. There is no space between your knuckles. 
in efforts two and three, option to have a dumbbell. This is eight, seven, six, five. Pull the belly button in for four more seconds. Three, two, balance right. Good, from here, it's a bring it in, cross crunch, cross, cross. So from the side, I'm leaning to the right, right elbow, left knee, right elbow, left knee. You're bringing it across the core, single leg balance, 10, nine, eight. Oh my gosh, this is harder than it sounds, right? Can we land our foot? Yes. That's the option. Three, two, and one, we switch. Try to find that stability. Over and out, over and out. A little quicker if you can. My opposite hand could be on my hip, it could be behind my ear, it could support my lower back. Can I lean? So I'm working the sides of my frame even more. I'm a little teapot plus a cross body rotation single balance. Four, three, two, one. All right, a little more traditional work. Come down to the floor. All fours, lift off the knees. Knees up, shoulder tap, right, left. So my knees are hovering off my ground. Hands are down, shoulder tap. Don't let your hips rock. Yes, Rachel, you've got it. Nice, Amanda. Little post exhaustion of the chest, a little post exhaustion of the triceps as we extend the arms and push the ground away from us. 26 seconds. Mandy, can I lower my knees? Sure. See if you can lower them and come right back up. 10 more seconds to go. I said that just a smidge early. Again, we wanna avoid rocking. So see if you're really wobbly, maybe bring your feet a little wider apart. Last six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, side plank, right hand, right foot, left foot stacks on top and we hold. You don't do anything here. It's the only isometric work we have in the whole workout. If being on your hand is no bueno, well, guess what else you could do? Forearm side plank. So your choice, we're gonna switch our sides in three, two, and one, stack the shoulder and the palm, bottom leg, top leg stacks. If that's not working, you can bring one leg forward or back. Personally, I like to have my front leg in front, my top leg in front, that didn't make any sense. Now lift those hips up. Look at that hand to the sky, jazz hands. Nine seconds, push the ground away from you. It's like an X, they are out of your life. Last three, two, one. We come back to the top. If you wanna add, I'm gonna grab my lighter of the two dumbbells, crush it between my palms, iso sumo, twist right and left. Whew. Optional here, I look at my targets. Another option, heels up. Whew. Tuck your tail, squeeze your butt cheeks. This one, I would say starts to feel like something about halfway through, which is right now. Nice, Anya. Good, Lauren, get your elbows out and your shoulders away from your ears. Not that they're there, but I'm just, I'm just talking to you because today is the Mandalorian day. 12 more seconds, crush your dumbbell, crush it. Feel the chest group. You're done in five, four, three, Two, balance on the left leg, right leg lifts, arm behind you, pull and release, pull. Shh. Right with Katy Perry here. Inhale, exhale. If you lose balance, just hop right back on the train. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, switch your sides, rinse, repeat. I prefer you go slow over speed. Can you lean more? Yeah. Connect, 
Can you get the elbow to touch the knee? And if that's not happening, can you get closer? Can you get closer? Can you lean more? Can the navel draw in tighter? 10. Can I land my foot? Sure. Four, three, two, time. Floating beast. Hands down. Lift off the knees. Shoulder tap. Right, left, right, left, right. See if you can get lost in the music. Maybe you tap to the beat. Maybe you tap to halftime of the beat. But see if you can avoid thinking about, oh, how much longer do I have? I'm not even gonna tell you, because it's not gonna be good. You don't wanna know right now. Keep the knees as low as you can, and if you need to land them, you land them, you pop back up. Open, close, open, close. From the front, my hands are at least shoulder width apart. Push into the mat with your fingers. Cross, switch, cross, switch. You're breathing, smiling, having fun. This is 10, eight, six, four, three, two, and time. Left hand, side plank hold. Breathe. Remember, stacking the feet, maybe I lift that top leg. Now, if I do that, I'm not letting my hip drop, right? So if my hip drops, come back to stacking the legs. Nine seconds left, eight. Lift up tall, maybe you reach the arm over your head. For three, two, one, lower down slow. Flip it and reverse it, second side, 30 seconds, hold. Breathe, stack your chest. Don't look down. Yes, now push the ground away from you. Get long and strong through the arm of the right, flex the feet. Squeeze the inner thighs. The butt is still working, uh-huh. All right, team, you've got four, three, two, one. Rise to stand. If you want, grab your heaviest dumbbell. Feet wide, knees wide, it's a push, twist. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, so everybody included here, I want you to focus on length. <sighs> you know what I heard? Vades and gentle they. I was like, or gentle them. I saw that on a post and I loved it. So ladies and gentle thems. All right, that's my new jam. 20 seconds. Big twists, boom. Lots of movement in the ribs, right? We're really trying to shake out that entire transverse plane. Almost there, five, four, three, Two, either leg balance. I'm gonna do my right because my right is just really challenged today. Here we go, pull it in, open out. Maybe you add a little extension. So not only are we doing flexion here, but I'm trying to open out as long as I can. Pull and open. So maybe the choice is to go half time. It's a pull and open. Good, three, two, one, switch the sides. Three, two, and one. Nice and slow, like you're moving through sand. Connect and open. Connect. Opposite hand could be along the back body, right? So if I'm feeling any sort of tightness here, I'm gonna push in to my palm. I'm reaching, I'm pulling. Showing this to you from the back. Just a few more seconds. Five, three, one, come on down to mat town. Hands off the knees and we tap, switch, tap, switch. Remember, modification, lower the knees, come back. Lower the knees, come back, because guess what? We are 90 seconds, 90 seconds away from being done with today's workout. So if you find yourself going, I can hold it, but I can't do the shoulder tap, I want you to stick there and really commit to that. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, excuse me, ladies and gentle them. I'm gonna work on it. 
Good. Last 15 seconds. Working on it. Yep. How we improve is through repetition, not just verbally, but physically. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Choose a side. I'm going to go with my right. Side plank hold. Mandy, I need a little support. Maybe I kickstand my leg on top behind me. Or maybe I kickstand it in front of me. So there's a couple options if you're feeling really, really tired and it's just not possible to have your legs stacked. I could bring it in front of me it's for support. Little kickstand. Five, four, chest, chest lifted for two and one. Set it down slowly, flip it and reverse it. Three, two, and one. Same variation you took on side one. So I showed you this little kickstand variation. Could also be behind you. Little wild thing variable. You got 12, so you got 18 seconds. I can see, but I'm sweating right now. Push the ground away. Almost there. This is 12. Lift up. Finish line in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Look at that. You made it. You made it. Ring out the wrists. Yes, Anya. Very much so. Ring them out. Everybody, make your way over to your playlist and move it to this final track, London Grammar Track. So once you get to that London Grammar Track, stand your way up. Once you're standing up, we're going to do a quick stretch. We're going to start with our sides. So bring our feet nice and wide apart. Take the right hand down the side leg of the left, of the right, and then reach the left arm up. Blah, blah, blah. Good. Look over the tricep of the left, then look down towards the floor. Get a nice little head nod in there. Bring out the wrist while you've got up in the air. And then return through center, taking the left hand to the thigh, reach the right arm up. Good. Nod the head all the way down and all the way up. A couple more times. Returning and ring out the wrist. I know I'm a little out of the frame here, but I'm just ringing the wrist like this. Good, rise up. Then clasp the hands behind the back. We did a ton of chest work here. So we're just gonna take a moment, open up the chest, bend the knees, and fold over the legs. Nice little hamstring stretch. Let the head hang between the knees, send the knuckles to the sky. Bend the knees a little more, extend the knees a little bit more. So again, finding stability in the heels, wiggle the toes. My feet are nice and wide apart for optimal stability. I've got here for about a minute. So shake it all off, release the clasp of the arms, slowly rise yourself to stand. Once we're standing up tall, right foot into the right hand, squeeze the knees together, feel the inner thighs fire off, squeeze the butt cheeks. So I'm stretching out the flexor the psoas of my right. Ooh, losing my balance. Good. Then we're gonna bring it forward and switch the leg. Good, squeeze the legs together. Little truncated stretch here. Beautiful, shoulders back and down. A lot of gluteal tuck and release. Good, just move the arms across the torso dynamically. Shake out the legs. Shake out the arms, because baby, you're done.